This female is actually my cousin. Found out she's my cousin by doing comedy. Found out she's already doing comedy and one day, it's a true story, one day, on my sister's birthday, she said, happy birthday, cuz. I was like, oh, that's a sign of endearment. I said, well, happy birthday, sis. I think she thought I was trying to up her. She's like, uh, she inboxed me. How do you know my cousin? Exactly. Like, are y'all sisters? <laughs> or are you just saying, because y'all both black? Happy birthday, <laughs> sister. I said, no, it's my sister. She was like, I ain't never meet you before. I said, well, I ain't never meet you before. We went ahead and saw, met each other in person. And she said, prove to me that you're related. I showed her my tattoo of my sister's name. She said, that's good enough proof. <laughs> Ain't nobody just tattooing your name on No, nope, no. Nope. Never since then, this has been a partner in crime when it comes to comedy. I've taken her just like stutter underneath my wing. This is my cousin right here. I need everybody to show us some love. Start clapping hands right now. Start clapping hands right now. You've seen her probably on Tubi. Probably on Tubi. Start clapping it up. Give it up for Miss Chit Chat. No, I don't know nothing about that predecessor, the person before me, but we gonna get it done. You know, I just turned 49 last month. I, thank you, thank you, sis. I needed it. I needed it. Sometimes you be needing it a little bit, a little bit, you know? But I know 49 is different. It's a lot of stuff they didn't tell us that was gonna happen in our 40s. We should have read the little bylaws and the little clauses at the bottom. They didn't tell me I was gonna sit on the edge of my bed in every morning, not because I'm trying to get my zen back, it's because my knees ain't tell me, Mother May I, I can move, you know? <laughs> they didn't tell me some stuff about our 40s, right? They didn't tell me that in order to do a show at 10 o'clock at night, I got to take a pre-nap in the middle of the day. Ain't nobody tell me that, you know? I can't stay up past 11 no more. I'll be like, huh? Wait a minute. You know? And then, for no reason, I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Why people didn't tell me that, you know? <laughs> In the middle of the night sometimes, I go to the bathroom like six times in the middle of the night. It's crazy. And a little, 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 little bit of pee come out. Just a little bit, you know. And I'm like, why? Why? I don't turn on the light. Because if you turn on the light, you officially woke. I'm not trying to be officially woke, right? So then, I understand now why them little kids be peeing in the bed. Because I'm trying to go there and be trickling, trickling, trickling. I'm tired of getting out my bed. I can just stay in the bed and relax, you know. I know why they pee in the bed now. I know why. So, my knees be cracking like a glow stick. You ever hear that crick crack? And there ain't no snap crackle pop like Rice Krispies. It's like a real loud crack. You're like, ooh, do I still got a knee? You know? You gotta look at it. You gotta look at it and see. It's just, it's weird stuff that start happening after you turn 40. So, you still got time, 23 over there, okay? Shoot, I need to spray mine with some WD 40 right now, getting up from that. I drove from Durham to here. That's an hour ride. I said, oh, first stop. Y'all saw me. I came in. First stop was bathroom, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> we shook it around. Shook, 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 shook. And then next stop, I was like, ooh, got to sit down. Because, you know, the knees, the knees, it's the knees. So, remember them sayings that we used to say that they don't say no more? Let me tell you a few of them. I know y'all going to know once I start saying the bee's knees. Bees ain't got no knees. You know, why they say that? Robbing Peter to pay Paul. Why can't we rob both of them? Seem like they both got money, you know? <laughs> well, we gotta pick which one we gonna do, you know? What about piss like a racehorse? Who's measuring that? You know, why they say that? <laughs> piss in the wind. Ooh, they nasty. You know, why was they saying crazy sayings like that? My mother, you know, you can hear I got my Jersey accent, right? I'm from Jersey. My mom used to say she was going to beat the black off of me. I didn't know what color I was going to be. I believe she was doing what she was saying she going to do, right? I didn't know what color I was going to be, but I, I think that was the beginning of colorism, bro. I think that was the beginning of colorism. When she told me she was going to knock me into next week, I was hoping it was a Friday so I could have a three-day weekend, you know? It's just the same as that they don't say no more. So I was like, when the cows come home? Why we have to measure it against cows? Why can't we measure it against Agnes? She knows she coming at 2 o'clock in the morning. That could be our curfew. You know, not the cows. Not the cows. <laughs> Silly stuff like that. So clap it up for everybody that got kids. I heard some people say they got, all right, clap it up for the people that got 10 people. Right? About 10 people that got kids. Kids 
it's like they take their turns on who gonna drive you crazy is the most, you know what I'm saying? It's either like they rolling dice or they jumping rope and get her. You get mom. Nope, you get dad. Like, you know, <laughs> I gotta watch them kids. So I got two children, right? One is special needs, autism, and then I have another one who's typical. If you put them in the same room, you wouldn't know which chick is which. You know, they just, <laughs> they be acting up sometimes. So my daughter who has autism, she says little stuff like, Mom, what's the plan? I was like, ooh, I got, what, I got a plan? Like, wait a minute, I was winging this, you know? I gotta get a plan. So we go in the Target one day, and these two women are walking in next to us. They have their hijabs on, they're Muslims, so all you can see is their eyes, right? My daughter leans up and she says, ninjas. <laughs> I know they heard her, right? So I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, she has autism, blah. And then I explained explain to my daughter, because she reads on a higher level, she understands stuff. And I said, that's their church outfit. You know, grandma with her church hat, you wear your church dress, that's their church outfit. She was like, nah, ninjas. You know, you gotta watch them kids. Because all those women had to do when make mama look crazy is pull out some nunchucks and some stuff. And my whole parenting would have been thrown out the window, you know? Just silly stuff like that. I do different things with my children because I'm like, okay, I gotta still stay active. They're 12 and 14 now. Nobody wants to talk to me after seven o'clock at night because you know, they on their little tablets and all that stuff. So I gotta get all this stuff in. As soon as they get out of school or as soon as summer hits, we gonna do everything so I can be good mom. I remember the little stuff you, I used to do to be a good parent, right? Remember, you would be filling, I used to fill up with gas and I'd be dancing outside. Hey, girl, uh, filling up with gas. I remember all about me, right? And it was like, mom's my favorite when she danced to get gas. You know, like stuff like that. Was, now I'd be like, I'm your favorite mom now. She'd be like, no, stop talking to me. You go here. <laughs> you talking to me in public, stop talking to me. <laughs> so it's, it's crazy. You can't even talk to them now. It's like really weird. Like I'm out, and the only time that she's really my friend, guys, it's when she sits down next to me around payday and say, hey, can you pull up something for she and for me? And I'm like, what? Now you want to talk to me. You don't even know I exist until she and is there. It's still, it's still it's payday, you know? So I, dating is hard, right? I'm a single mom and dating is crazy. I, dating in your 40s is either plenty of fish, plenty of freaks. Okay, okay, y'all got me an analogy for that one. Yeah, um, then you got Tinder. It's too tender. They too cool, 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 choo -choo, right? And then you got OK Cupid. That cherubim can't find me. I'll be poking it out. They can't do it. They don't find me. They don't find me. I forget the body yaddy yaddy. I'm achy, achy, achy. So I can't, you know? I can't hang with them no more. I can't hang with them no more. So I'm ready. I'm ready, guys. I'm ready to sign up for Match.com and Christian Mingle. I'm going to get deep and deep, deep, you know what I'm saying? But I might get one of those guys. I don't know if y'all been seeing the little video on now. It's this guy, I call him Minister Bottle Cap. Y'all see him with the bottle cap eyes and the purple jacket and the purple little shirt? He a minister. He said, I'm looking for women. I'm looking for my mate. I'm looking for somebody to hug. He started with that one video. Everybody, it went viral. Went viral with this one. I'm looking for somebody to hug. We knew it was something different. The second video he comes out with, now he dancing. He got a two-tone white. Now, you know, women notice the two-tone white. He got a dingy white T-shirt on, and then he got the white, white pants, right? And he up here dancing, showing he could do it. And he was like, yeah, I'll meet you on the Metro bus. I said, we are not riding public transportation, sir. <laughs> Together, what is going on? Now, I can show you I got the moves, and I want to do this and do that. I said, it started with a hug, sir. You should have stayed with the hug. <laughs> started with the hug. So I'm going to just officially tell my mom to, you know, hook me up with Uncle D.D. You know, my Uncle D.D. going to have his, his B VA benefits so we can buy a house, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You got that uncle, he still, you know, he still won't go out there. He got the matching Easter suit. I'll match my outfit too. <laughs> I'll match my outfit too. We'll be down there. I'll take names. Sir, I know you're thinking about Uncle Uncle. You're trying to give away right now. You're thinking about Uncle Uncle. You can give him away. Sign him up with me. I'm going to sign up, have a sign up sheet for the Deacon Uncle Uncle. So, okay, you just pull him up for me. So, last but not, not even last but not least, let me tell you again, I can't do things that are a little crazy. Like, I can't date somebody ugly. 
I know I'm not supposed to say that I run about to church people, but I got to tell y'all, some people's ugly, okay? <laughs> it, it, and you know that, remember back in the day they used to say, you G L Y, you ain't got no alibi, you ugly. That's what you playing in my head when, when somebody ugly approached me. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, rup, rup, rup. it happens, it happens. So I can't take somebody ugly because I'll be a little bit disrespectful. I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry, Pastor, but I will be a little disrespectful. I'll be like, get over here with your ugly self. You know what I'm saying? I'll be talking out. I'll be talking trash to him. I'll be talking trash. I'll be like, oh, oh, you think you cute? You know that's against the rules. <laughs> I will say stuff to him like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be like, make sure you come over my house at night. You know what I'm saying? So nobody don't see me. Okay, I'd be a little bit disrespectful if I was dating somebody ugly. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just saying. But if you still got that ugly uncle and he got his um, VA benefits in my way, okay, just, just let you know, just let you know. So, last but not least, let me tell y'all a little story again about my kids, right? So, my daughter, my oldest daughter comes downstairs and she says, little sis did something. She got a hand like this. And I said, what you got behind your back? And she shows me the razor. And okay, I just gotta tell y'all a little bit of something. I'm part Chihuahua, Chia Pet, <laughs> Furby. I mean, you know, Star Wars, you know that? What is his name again? I forgot his name. Wow. Chewbacca. I'm a part of Chewbacca's family. I'm a little hairy. The lady, when I go to the Korean shop, and she get my nails done and different stuff and she gotta take that stuff off my face I know she be talking about me real life she go back home, she talk to her therapist about me cause it's a lot of fur she gotta take off okay, I'm just, okay, alright so anyway, when she pulled out the razor I'm like, oh, they know my secret they know they part Furby too, you know like that's why I thought my daughter knew so she was like, no, little sis did something, so little sis is the one who's autistic, okay so I said, get downstairs but I ain't say it like that. So I said it like a black mama. Get your tail downstairs right now. You know, I had to get her. I had to get her downstairs. She came downstairs. I said, listen, what did you do? And before she could turn herself to me like this, I saw both eyebrows was gone. <laughs> so then I was like, oh, you took off your eyebrows. I can't believe you took off your eyebrows. What did you do? She said, took off your eyebrows? And she <laughs> repeats it back to me because she has autism uh -huh. and she does echolalia. It's yeah. an echo like uh -huh. a parrot, right? So I said, you took off your eyebrows? You took off your eyebrows? No, I ain't take off my eyebrows. You took off your eyebrows, right? <laughs> then she's like, you mad? Mommy mad? I said, mommy very mad. You can understand I'm mad because I got eyebrows. You can see my expression. <laughs> okay? So then she goes, mommy mad again. Mommy mad again. Mommy frustrated. Ooh, mommy frustrated. I said, yeah, mommy frustrated. <laughs> Girl, bye. I can't believe it. So I had to stop yelling at her, right? Because I had to think. Eyebrows going now. What am I going to do? Paste them back on. You know what I'm saying? Monkey glue them back on. Oh, gorilla glue them back on. No, oh, I'm not going to do all of that. So then I stood there and I took, I did exactly what any good parent in 2022 would do. Took some pictures of her butt. <laughs> right? So I took some pictures because I needed evidence. I sent one to her dad who I knew he was going to say, what you do to my baby? You wasn't watching her. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't care about that one. So, but I sent it just so you know I could be the good parent right here. Then I sent it to my mom, and it, it was after eight o'clock at night because you know she ain't gonna see it because she sleep already. So she ain't gonna see it till six o'clock in the morning. So I sent it to her, and when she see it at six a.m. in the morning, she gonna say, "Oh my goodness, that's my baby. What happened to my baby? Where her eyebrows?" So I knew that was gonna be coming to me. Now I sent the third one to my sister, right? Send it to my sister. My sister bougie as I don't know what. She wear heels to the laundromat. Okay? So I send it to her. She immediately comes back. Boom. And she's like, girl, just draw her eyebrows on. I said, what? We don't draw her eyebrows on. See, drawing her eyebrows on is the equivalent of dry erase on her eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? I can see her just doing this. And she goes to school year round. So I'm like, if I draw her eyebrows on, Every day she gonna come home with one eyebrow, no eyebrows. So it's, why should I even draw some eyebrows on? It, it's irrelevant at this point, you know. And you know us black people, when we get tattoos, our tattoos look emerald green on our skin, right? It don't look like like the color is supposed to be. So if, I can't even tattoo her eyebrows on at this point. So I'm thinking, what can I do? So I send an email to a teacher and say, hey. When she gets to school tomorrow, I'll just let her ask her why she shaved her eyebrows off. <laughs> and then I thought about it. I'm like, listen, 
I could just start a GoFundMe page. And she already got autism. I could just tell them she got cancer now. You know what I'm saying? She ain't got no eyebrows. We should just get double funded. I, I, just, I don't know. I, I didn't do either. I was good. I didn't do either. I just sent her to school with no eyebrows. And it took about five weeks for them to come back in. They look fine now. And she looked like, she looked better than the Mr. Potato Head now. You know what I'm saying? She looking pretty good with her eyebrows on. And I chose not to draw it on, you know? Y'all don't know. Y'all understand. Y'all understand. I could have just, you know, said ninja. And she would have been fine. She would have been fine. I'm just saying. It's the things that we got to think about. These kids are here to drive us crazy. Okay? Crazy. That's that pr- I'm like, hey. And she asked me. Whenever they go to their dad's house or whenever they go to grandma's house, they be like, what you do while we, I was, we was gone? Sleep. Okay? I get to get uh, the best rest of my life. Bye. See y'all. See y'all. Please. You got to do that. You got to do that. Otherwise, you going to do like my mom used to do. That's why they used to do us with them empty threats. I'm going to knock the black off of you. I'm going to knock you into next week. I'm going to knock the spit out your mouth. You ain't going to know the taste out your mouth. They used to say crazy stuff to us. Off the wall stuff, I'm telling you. If I, I took a survey now. Y'all been thinking about it. Y'all been thinking about it. What's one of the craziest things you remember your mom saying to you? Um, stop. You better stop talking. No, I'm talking to you. You better talk back to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, didn't even give you a chance to answer. You be like, do she want me to answer? I ain't right. crazy. I'm not answering. <laughs> I'm not answering. Sorry right there. You kind of young. What, what's the craziest thing your parents said to you? You listen. I know. I mean, my cousin, his dad used to say, "Listen, I'll make a carbon copy just like you. I'll make another one like you." He was like, "I'll take you out here and make another one just like you." I'm like, "Oh, dang. <laughs> you know." Tell me another crazy thing. Um, sits back there in the back, got your arms folded. Are you cold? Oh, I'm hot. I feel like I'm. I'm feeling like the wicked witch right here. I'm going through the seasons. They say, right? The seasons. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm melting. I'm melting. That's happening right now. But <laughs> go ahead. What's going? What's the craziest thing you can think of? No, she didn't oh, say that. God. She was so nice. Yeah, that she so was so beautiful. Yeah. Anybody? Anybody got one for me? Who got a good one for me? Go back there, sis. That's okay. She probably tried to be good in yeah, front of y'all. Does. Like, yeah, I can't say. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Why are you crying? You just hit me. <laughs> you just socked me. You just rocked them socked me. Okay. Oh, that that one is a good one. This gonna hurt me worse than it hurt you. How was that? Do you feel my pain too? Because I felt you hit me with that Hot Wheels um track. I felt you do that. You know, so, sir. I know you saying that. I know you don't want to tell on yourself. So tell on your parents. What, what was the craziest thing you heard? No grown trees. You know what? That is the truth. Because nowadays, them kids see you swiping the card, they be like, just swipe your card. Yeah. I'm like, ain't no money in there. <laughs> I can swipe it all the world. Ain't nothing in there. Ain't nothing in there. Who got one more for me over there, Bishop? Y'all table? Um. Craziest thing parents said. <laughs> Chick check. I tell you what I do though. I tell you what I do. <laughs> what you do? Because I, I I didn't know if anybody wanted to tell on themselves. Uh-huh. I punch my boys in the chest and I say, if you act up, that's what I'm gonna give you. Right, that's right, that's right. That's uh, if that's what that's what I'm gonna give you. Listen. You gave it to him, I'm gonna give you double for your trouble. Okay, right here. Let me close it up with this right here. I have my my um I don't know why, and I have two children already at my house, but I said, oh, for the summer, I'm going to bring down my little cousin from New Jersey. He's eight years old. I don't know why I thought that. Okay, eight-year-old boy. I am not boy material, okay? He has been in my house for six weeks. I am driving him back Friday. I've been counting it down like I've been in prison. Like, I'm getting out. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Now I understand why my uncles used to lump my brothers in the head. Listen. 
plunk them in the head. I know why my uncles used to punch them in the chest now. Because they need that stuff. They got too much t- testosterone. I just opened up the door. My girlfriend was like, you treat him like a dog. I said, you know what? I just opened the door and I tell him, run. Just run. Have fun. Run, <laughs> run boy. Just run, boy. So he's in the pool with my daughter and they're playing, right? They're playing. And my daughter, she ain't got patience for nobody. This is the one with the autism. But she's playing with them. They throwing pool toys at the end. They having fun. He dipping guns. She died. And she got tired of him because he was taking, he just suck all the energy out of you. You know what I'm saying? If you got reserve energy, he's taking that one too. So she, he comes over and he's like, more. And she said, no more, boy. No more. <laughs> and I thought to myself, man, I wish somebody told me that when I was young. I wouldn't have these problems at 40 years old with these men. I say, no more, boy. No more, boy. <laughs> That'd be my philosophy. No more, boy. So you got some little girls, y'all been teaching right now. No more, boy. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm Miss Chit Chat. Y'all can find me on Instagram, M-I-Z-C-H-I-T-C-H-A-T. Come on now, y'all can do better than that. Give it up. M I Z C H I T C H A T. That's it. Ace Brown, not Arch. Too funny. Too funny. Okay. Anything. I am Ace Brown. Ace Brown.